Hey guys, Kevin coming at you from the uh, North Louisiana Model Shop with a finished product on Roadhog's Cancer Awareness Build. Um, we we built a 59 Cadillac Eldorado, did it pink, and uh, you know, I, we haven't had a lot of uh, cancer issues in our family other than uh, uh, my grandfather. Who, um, who died in 1974 at a young age of 56 from lung cancer. He was a, uh, was a very gentle man, and uh, uh, I was nine years old when he passed, and uh, I remember uh, he was a little over six foot tall and weighed about 165, 170, and it took him down to probably 115 pounds. I remember, you know, I remember seeing him right toward the end, but, you know, I, I remember that sticking out in my mind. I've seen him a lot before the end, but I remember that sticking out in my mind. Now, I did this breast cancer. Uh, I used the pink color uh, because it went with this with a Cadillac, being a pink Cadillac, and my daughter had been, <laughs> my eight-year-old had been wanting me to do a pink Cadillac, too. So I said, well, it's a good opportunity to go ahead and do this Cadillac bill, too. But I do hope these builds that everybody's done will bring, you know, help bring more awareness to this awful disease. And one day, maybe we can get the corporations and the profits out of it and, um, and put humanity back in it and hopefully find a disease, a cure for that disease, excuse me. Uh, but uh, anyhow, we, uh, so we, without any, without further ado, let's get this out of the way and we'll present the the build in its entirety. This thing had uh, had it was a <laughs> was a fun build. I, I, it 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 had some issues, but uh, I pretty much it, it met Revell standards. It didn't it did not have a lot of flash on it. Very 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 little flash. Um, did the interior. I offset this. This was this was, by the way, a um, um, oh shoot, <laughs> a Krylon. I had to open up and remember the name. I tell you, I'm not but fifty, but it's it's it. Some days I got the memory of <laughs> of a lot worse. But um, anyhow, uh, used a Krylon. I think this is a ballet slipper pink is the color of it, and I offset it with some just a basic craft smart. Um, burgundy that I got picked up from Michaels. I got both these from Michaels. I found both colors at Michaels, and um, but anyway, I want to offset that pink in the interior a little bit. But uh, the engine, that's a very that's all under that hood. It's it's got a mouthful. Let me tell you, there is a ton of parts under that hood. And also, when I got it, the um, the top on it was was bent a little bit, and I couldn't get it to stay straight. So I wound up having to boil, uh, put it in boiling water, to straighten it. And either I did it, or it came from Revell that way. But it caused the hood not to um, not to fit. It just will not fit. And I have trimmed it and cut it down. It's just not going to work right. It's going to be displayed open. And even that, I'm having to use a stick to prop it up. I, I, I think boiling it may have did it, but although this entire brace was in it, both these braces were in it. So I don't see how, but it, it, it could have twisted the whole entire thing a little bit. But anyway, uh, it is what it is. It's got a... Um, I'm fixing to build another one here in the next two or three months. Hobby Lobby stocking this one now, so it's an easy kit to find. And I'm going to um, build another one, so we'll see if, how the foot uh, hood fits on it. It's got Florida tags on it. I was tickled to see something other than California. Look at that. But anywho, that's there she, there she is. Um, and and look, I want to thank you for. Uh, uh, for putting Roadhog for putting this thing on and, and like I say getting the getting the awareness out um, you know the more aware you know the more we can bring attention to this thing 
like I say, maybe one day we can get, we can mess around and make people uh, really get want to get serious about finding a cure. But until then, next we're gonna we're working on the '65 Chevrolet Impala. Still piddling with a forty four. Yep, I'm still piddling with a with a Ranger. I'm kind of got it on hold right now, trying to get caught up. I, this is this build. I like to keep a Mopar going, and this is gonna uh, replace it at some point. I'm not really ready to start it yet, but I am gonna do it total box stock. As y'all know, I'm a box stock type builder, and I like to build things factory factory stock. And uh, other than paint, really, I don't know how. If this was a factory color, I don't think it was. I think this was more of a Elvis color. But anyhow, uh, that's what's going to be happening next on the bench. And um, possibly, uh, oh, let's see. Well, no, I don't have it where I can get it. But <laughs> I am going to kind of get back to work on this. But and, and I'm, I'm, it won't take me long to finish either one of these. Now, I've got to get on with another Impala to go in my Impala collection. So the next Impala, I've got a 63 and a 62 in my lineup. Probably going with 62. A 63 next. That way I'll have the 63, 64, 65, 66. So anyway, that's where we're at, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all take care. Happy modeling. And as always, God bless you.